This video will cover the topic, solving a word problem using the law of signs. What is the law of signs? Good question. The law of signs states the following. Supposing that ABC is a triangle with side A opposite angle A, side B opposite angle B, and side C opposite angle C, then sine A over A equals sine B over B, which equals sine C over C. How can this help us solve word problems? Let's take a look at an example problem to see how we can utilize this law. We are given the following problem to solve. Donna and Josh are standing on a riverbank at points A and B respectively. Josh is 250 meters from a house located across the river at point C. Suppose that angle A is 55 degrees and angle B is 60 degrees. How far are Donna and Josh standing from one another? Round your answer to the nearest tenth of a meter. The first thing we'll want to do is label our sides and angles of the triangle. We can see that the angles A, B, and C have been labeled for us, so we'll just add in the sides like so. Okay, so now I can see that we are missing the values for side B, side C, and angle C. But what missing value are we trying to solve for in this problem? Well, since we are asked to find the distance between Donna and Josh, and Donna is at point A, and Josh is standing at point B, we can see that we are being asked to solve for side C, the distance between the two. Oh, okay, that makes sense. And we can use the law of sines to help us find side C? Yes, exactly. Using the law of sines, we know that sine C over C equals sine A over A. Equivalently, C over sine C equals A over sine A. Next, we will substitute in the values that we have been given. Since we want to solve for side C, we will need to first find out what the value of angle C is, so we can insert it into our equation. The sum of all angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. Therefore, angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals 180 degrees. Substituting in the known angle measures of 60 and 55 degrees, we can see that angle C equals 65 degrees. We can substitute this value into our equation and then solve for side C. This is our final answer. Okay, I think I understand. When solving a word problem using the law of signs, we first label the sides and angles of our triangle. Next, we determine the missing value the problem asks us to solve for. After that, we use the law of signs to solve for the missing value. That's correct. Great work!